a church. Welcome to our devotions today. My name is Andy Smith and I'm part of the team here in Manchester. Uh, during this week, we're looking at different characters and today we're looking at the Magi or the wise men and looking at wise men still seek him. Matthew 2 verses 1 to 2 says, after Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea, during the time of King Herod, Magi came from the east and came to Jerusalem and asked, where is the one who's been born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and we've come to worship him. The story of the three kings or Magi is a timeless reminder uh, that those who seek Jesus will find him. These wise men were from the east and they saw this star that signified the birth of the king of the Jews. Their hearts were stirred with a deep desire to find him and worship him. So in their journey, they encountered different challenges and uncertainties, and um, they, they, they were kept going because their faith propelled them forwards. They brought a precious gift of, of gold, one, and uh, frankincense, another, and myrrh, and these were to honor a newborn king and recognize the significance of his birth. The journey the Magi took teaches us some important lessons. First, it underscores the importance of seeking Jesus with a sincere heart. Their pursuit wasn't casual or half-hearted. It was a determined quest to find the promised Messiah. Secondly, the Magi teach us um, that God reveals himself to people who earnestly seek after him. The star guided them to the very presence of Jesus. And in our own lives, God provides signs and guidance for those who seek him more intimately. Lastly, the gifts the Magi brought represent three different things about our saviour. The gold represents his kingship. The frankincense represents his deity, the fact that he was God. The myrrh represents his sacrificial death. It was foretelling the fact that he would one day die on a cross for our sins. And as we reflect on these gifts and also offer the gift that is our lives in our worship and surrender and service to the king who came and saved us. Let's just remember over this Christmas season. I know you've had Christmas already and Boxing Day, but this Christmas season, let's try and remember to be a little bit like the Magi, the wise men and women who seek Jesus with determination. They respond to him with reverence and they offer their lives in worship to the one who is the true reason for this season. Church, let me just pray for you and, uh, and then I hope you have a great rest of your day. Lord, like the Magi, we come before you with hearts full of anticipation and desire to seek and worship you. Open our eyes to recognize the signs of your presence in our lives. May our worship be sincere. May we offer our lives as gifts to you, acknowledging you as our King and our Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great rest of your week, guys. See you on church on Sunday. And uh, yeah, have a good Christmas.